back, everybody. Thanks for staying with us here at the Big Show. In honor of Black History Month, the Gulfport Arts Center is hosting a celebration of art and culture. And here to tell us more about it, uh, Judy Barkham. Good to see you, Judy. How you been? Good to see you as well. I am well. Yeah, good. Uh, let me see. I don't know if your mic's on. Talk again? Talk again. Oh, okay. Well, we'll I'm see. Here. We'll see if this works out. Uh, so this is unbelievable. It's Black History Month. My favorite part of the story is the quilting because there's so much yes. history and culture yes. in there. Yes, um, and it is the arts and culture exhibit um, that's going to be this weekend starting tomorrow. The reception is from 5 to 8 and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday we have like 300 school kids that are going to be coming Oh, that's through. fantastic. So yeah, it's, it's giving away and the idea of art in everyday life um, especially with the quilting because the quilting we went all the way back to the Underground Railroad and how the quilting was used to give direction. You know, there was a certain symbol that would mean go to the water. There was another symbol that meant go through the woods. Yeah, that's and a so, part of American yeah, history. history. Maybe yeah. one we don't, yeah. we're not taught and yeah. probably so, should be. And so there, last year we had a small sampler. This year we have a much larger quilt that eight quilters worked on together, each one took one of the symbols and you guys will get to see that. It yeah. is yeah, so fabulous. in the panels of the quilt, in there the is historical the significance. Uh, the, yes. So, but it's not just quilts. I it's know there's a wide variety of We meetings. have 16 paintings that will be there. We have ceramics that will be there. We have um, woodwork. We have a gentleman who makes um, airplanes, model airplanes out of tin cans. It's not Spencer, is it? Yeah. No. Oh. Okay. And so it, I mean, so many things. Of course, um, Ellen Lee's work will be yeah, there. Yeah, but the dolls. Yes. That, yes. That's fantastic. Yes. I mean, beautiful things. And especially for young people to come in and see the creativity that's there that you can just take everyday items or to just use your creativity to put beauty into the world. Well, I think it's cool that you're going to be bringing uh, uh, school kids. Is that what you yes. said? You're by? So because, yes. you know, the, to have all of this stuff, uh, you know, for young people this generation today to be aware. Be aware. Because they may yeah. not even know. Yeah, and to, to see what kind of creativity they can produce um, from that. And of course, music is always a part of our culture. And so we're going to kick everything off tomorrow with the Mississippi Gulf Coast Chorale um, under the direction of uh, Neil Ray Scott, mm -hmm. who is from Gulfport. Uh, moved away to Detroit and came back and started this chorale and they are going to provide us some music. It's going to be fun. And you guys come after church on Sunday, come whatever, bring family. It's free. It's free. It's free. <laughs> well, you emphasize that. It's yeah. free and open to the public. And it's going to yeah. be going on February 23rd, as Judy said, uh, beginning tomorrow. It'll run through the 27th, uh, Saturday from 11 to 5, Sunday, you see the hours 1 to 5, mm -hmm. and then Monday and Tuesday from 10 to 5. But what right. is the kind of reception or the event that's happening? The reception tomorrow? is tomorrow night. It's from 5 to 8. And if you come then, you get to meet some of these artists. Some of those artists will be there at the reception. You get to actually meet them, talk to them, mix and mingle. So please Okay, come. this uh, in downtown Gulfport at the Gulfport Arts Center. Yes. Judy, good to see you as always. Good to see you as well. Thanks, Thanks so David. much for being with us. <laughs>